Hi Cancer, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So we're going to take a look at the energies for your next three months. What are the energies coming towards you? It could be about career, it could be about love, it could be about money, finances. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you, all right? So let's, let's begin. Thank you so much, my Spirits, Angels, and Guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Cancerians regarding their next three months. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general, general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the next three months. All right, Cancer? Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am so grateful to each and every one of you. Um, thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube, and I hope you continue supporting me. All right? Cancer, your overall theme for the next three months is the three of pentacles. All right. Definitely a lot of teamwork, collaboration, commitment, strong commitment work all right money okay what is coming towards you for october you have the four of swords all right we'll take that for november you have the six of pentacles and then for for december you have the ten of cups Your challenge for October is the King of Cups. You have the Wheel of Fortune. And then the Star. What is Advice of Spirit? You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Pentacles nice and then you have the tower okay the overall outcome is the four of cups you have the knight of pentacles and then you have the knight of swords all right okay so cancer this is your next three months your overall theme or your universal card for the next three months is the three of pentacles so the next three months will be will pertain to all of, all about um teamwork collaboration commitment strong commitment all right um wanting to work with one another you know uh commitment all right so what is coming towards you for october definitely the four of swords there's a lot of healing coming towards you a lot of rest a lot of rejuvenation all right um you are healing something that really wounded you in the past all right the fact that the four of swords came out it's a really really good sign that you are coming out of healing and that is really good that is really really good cancer i love it i love it already okay your challenge position for october is the king of cups I'm feeling that you want someone to come towards you who is emotionally mature, someone who has really, really deep love for you, and someone who is just ready to offer their love to you, all right? Um, yeah, that is a challenge because this is something that you really, really want, all right? Um, the advice of spirit, you know, the advice of spirit is the eight of pentacles, all right? I feel that when you focus, Spirit is actually telling me that when you focus on love or on something too much, it never happens, all right? A watched pot, a watched pot never boils. A watched pot never boils cancer. So what Spirit wants to tell you is you focus on something else, like you, you focus on work. You, you focus on the other aspects in your life that you're building, all right? focus on something else all right work on something else work on improving yourself work on 
your current career, work on your passion projects, work on something that would build, build you financially or make you financially stable, all right? And, you know, when we stop focusing on something, like if we set our, man our manifestations, we set our intentions, what we manifest comes in, the Four of Cups. Whatever you are trying to manifest, it will come in. So don't worry about it. You just, you know, set your intentions and let it go. It will come to you, Cancer. It will come to you. So if you are trying to manifest love at this moment, at the, for, for this month or like for the last few months, the King of Cups, he will come to you. You just have to take your attention off of it because a watch pot never boils, all right? What is coming towards you in November? The Six of Pentacles. Definitely lots of money. <laughs> lots of money, a lot of abundance, um, balance. There's a lot of balance coming towards you. Um, I feel that this is about work, all right? This is about work um, or your career or your money. Um, but this is this is a pentacles month, all right? If you could see all the all the circles here. It's all about your money, it's all about your career, it's all about work, all right? Definitely there's something that's coming towards you that would help you balance your finances again. I feel that you have your finances have really left you imbalanced for the last few months, 6 months well we we are dealing with a pandemic still and there have been a lot of job losses along the way but yeah i feel that this is you rebuilding rebalancing your finances i feel that uh for some of you you could be getting you know a job that is very balanced all right the challenge here is the wheel of fortune, all right? Luck is actually on your side, but this is you putting your faith on the universe, all right? Um, the universe's timing is always a perfect timing. Maybe you're not getting the, the job of your dreams or the money that you need right now because there's something that you need to learn. Probably, let's just say, you need to learn to... To budget all right to really be careful with how you spend your money or your your habits when it comes to work your work ethics all right um there's something that spirit wants to wants you to learn at the moment maybe that's why whatever you're trying to manifest right now if it's a job if it's money if it's career it's it's very slow to come in all right but it's about the universe's timing cancer you know spirit's advice spirit's advice is the queen of pentacles look at the queen here look at how relaxed she is all right she doesn't really mind anything because she knows she's abundant she knows things will come to her finances opportunities love whatever it is that they that she wants to manifest it just comes to her she doesn't look worried right she's not worried at all so that is the advice of spirit for you don't worry it will come it will come if this is a job that you're looking for if it is about finances if it is about a stable offer of love it will come towards you all right okay so you have the Knight of Pentacles here, definitely taking action. Um, I feel that you are taking action or some company or someone is going to take action towards you. It can be a little bit slow. That's why you have the Wheel of Fortune here because things are kind of slow at the moment. Um, but it's definitely coming towards you. It's coming towards you, very stable, very secure. It's really for you, all right? This is something that maybe the company that you applied to, they really took time. Um, to really to really think whether or not who they go they would get for this position and I do feel that this is a position that they will offer to you but they really took time for it take it how it resonates but you know the thing is 
the thing here is it's an offer that really took time to be given all right because there was a lot of thinking involved that's why the slow there is slow movement all right so just sit there relax and it will come to you that's what i'm hearing all right hmm. okay so for december what is coming towards you the ten of cups definitely emotional stability um i'm hearing long-term commitment i'm hearing long-term commitment all right um yeah definitely something coming towards you about love about long-term commitment um probably from this from october you will come here to december with a very strong commitment um someone who's planning to you know commit to you but you have the star here so the challenge here is about healing um yes i said that you are coming out of healing but you have to heal every kind of wound that you have that's what i'm hearing right now if you have healed when it comes to your past connection you also have to heal your childhood wounds all right your the wounds that your childhood wounds and you have to heal completely from every from the connection that you had before all right this is about healing the challenge is about healing letting go of things all right forgiving okay that's what i'm hearing very clearly forgiving you know when you forgive it really lightens up your karmic load so it really helps you ascend all right okay so that is your challenge for december the advisive spirit the things that need to crumble let it crumble all right if it has a weak foundation let it crumble the ones your relationships your situations your connections that have strong foundations it will not crumble all right the ones where there is weak foundation there are weak foundations it will crumble and you will know which ones to keep which connections which things which situ situations you need to keep in your life and which ones you have to let go all right okay and lastly what is the overall outcome of this situation you have the nine of swords i feel that spirit is just telling me that you should not ignore red flags all right the overall outcome here is the nine of swords this is you seeing the red flags in the situation all right if you ignore red flags you are going to have sleepless nights eventually so please don't ignore the red flags all right cancer kind of the same with the pisces reading as the end you might have a pisces placement take it how it resonates let's see what spirit or what the angels want to tell you additionally you have if you have a question in your head it might answer any questions in your head or additional things that they want you to focus on all right okay we'll get that so you have peaceful resolution as i told you peaceful resolution you have to let go you have to start healing you saw me shuffle these cards all right cancer you saw me shuffle these cards so you need to have peaceful resolution why isn't it focusing all right peaceful resolution all right and then let's see animal spirit cards thank you so much my spirits angels and guides okay all right you have the rabbit spirit now is a lucky time a lucky lucky time number 49 four plus nine if you reduce it it's number 13 the death card no not <laughs> for some reason i just said the death card it might not be the death the death card just take it how it resonates 13 might be a significant number for you so yeah that is all i have for you cancer i hope something in this reading resonated if it did please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below how it resonated for you all right if you want to claim this reading you could type in below that you're claiming it all right it's gonna set the intention off to the universe. I love you all.
Thank you so much for supporting me and stay blessed.